This is one of the silliest, stupidest, and most fun, playful, coolest watches that I have seen recently. It is the Alp Watch from H. Moser. Now, uh, it definitely looks like an Apple Watch, and that is not by accident. This is one of the biggest trolls in the industry, and it's one of the reasons why I enjoy this hobby so much. It's not the trolling, it's the playfulness. It's the ridiculousness of this piece that makes it so much fun to check out. Even if I'm not a buyer, I'm not going to be spending $25,000, $30,000 on something basically to troll a tech giant. No, that's not the way that I would spend that amount of money, but I probably would buy something dumb, <laughs> knowing me. Uh, no, this watch is not for me, but it's a watch that I can appreciate, and I'd like to talk about it today. Now, I did a, a short just showing off the watch, and one of my uh, viewers, Attila22, I'd like to shout you out. Uh, Attila22 basically said, you could get a watch with a lot more functionality that looks exactly like this for a whole lot less, and so you're just burning money if you were to buy an Alp watch from Moser. And I've got to say, yes, you're, you're kind of right until a 22, but at the same time, you've missed the point entirely with this watch. When it comes to luxury, again, this is just my opinion. It's not about uh, functionality. It's not about practicality. It's not about having a value proposition on your, on your wrist. The watch is entirely about how it makes you feel how you enjoy it when you put it on. It's all about your connection, as silly as that sounds. So when I look at this, I see a stealth $30,000 secret on wrist. It looks like an Apple watch. I could go anywhere and not be uh, worried about someone spotting the luxury watch on my wrist. This is part of a secret, and if someone ever did recognize this, they would be a crazy watch enthusiast and they'd want to talk to you about that freaking awesome troll on your wrist that this tiny Swiss high horology, this independent brand, H. Moser, is playfully and complimentary kind of trolling this tech giant Apple. So uh, no, it's not about getting the look with more functionality at a lower price. That is technically true. No, buying a luxury watch and a high horology piece is all about, uh, it's all about your connection. It's about the craftsmanship. It's about the design. It's about how it makes you feel. It's not about uh, the value and it's not about the functionality. You look at this and it has a Vanta black dial which absorbs almost all light. It is completely void of any reflection. And you just have your minute hand and your hour hand. You don't have Swiss. You don't have water resistance. You don't have anything else, not even the brand on the dial of this piece. No, it's all about, uh, it's all about the beauty and the depth and the brilliance. And it's not about the functionality. I look at this right now and I think it's 1150, but I don't know. It's close. It's not about the timekeeping. Uh, and that's one of the fun things. Now, when it comes to Moser, they can create some absolutely breathtaking uh, high horology watches with complications. They're getting Aganor movements and just excellent craftsmanship. Uh, so we know that they can play at that scene, at that tier, but something like this is just, it's such a fun piece because it's not a serious watch. Moser's not trying to be stuffy and traditional. They're taking a playful jab at Apple, and I like that. It's even down to the name of this model, the Alp Watch. If you say that quick, what do you hear? Alp Watch, Apple Watch. That's what you're hearing. It's entirely a troll. It is ridiculous. It is stupid, but it is cool. And again, I'm not one of the uh, 20 people that want to spend money on this piece and, and wear it around, but I can appreciate it because it is so fun and playful. Now let's talk about some of the other things about this piece. It is a stainless steel watch DLC coated with an exhibition sapphire crystal behind which you can see the HMC caliber 324, which is a very beautiful hand wind movement with a free sprung balance, a Straumann hairspring. You guys can see there is a power reserve indicator for the four days of power reserve. And I'd like to shout out something that I found on the Moser website that again is kind of trolling Apple to a degree. And that is, quote, 
Unlike other smart watches, right, in, in quotations, this does not need to be plugged in to recharge. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're, Moser's kind of playfully jabbing the functionality of a, a far more functional watch, and I think that's fun. So, yes, this is cool. Is it stupid? Yeah. Is it functional? I mean, to a degree, but that's not high horology. At least that's not this segment of high horology. So hopefully Attila 22, you haven't felt like I've been picking on you because you do make a, a technically true statement. But at the same time, if we were always wanting to find the value and the look and the functionality, I, I think there's a place for that. I think everybody needs one of those types of watches in our collection. But if we take it to the extreme, if we just want to say, hey, I want the look of something for the least amount of money, I still want the functionality, then you know what? We would be buying, or, you know, whatever they are. We'd be buying, we'd be buying, we'd be buying. Uh, that's not me. I would, I would not want to be a part of this hobby if that's the extreme that we're going with. So again, hopefully you don't feel like I'm picking on you. Uh, this has been a fun watch to review and to film, even though it has been the most difficult watch to photograph and film. I think half of the footage I took is probably unusable because I have nothing to focus on with this Vanta black dial. What a troll, what a piece, what a fun watch. And I'm looking forward to reading the comment section. And uh, guys, put me in my place if I'm wrong or back me up if you can agree that this is such a fun but ridiculous troll watch. I'd be interested to hear your take. And, and shout out to my friend Stan who allowed me to uh, wear his one of 20 DLC coded Alp watch from H. Moser. He's got a great little Moser collection and it's been fun uh, to watch him experience these excellent watches from this independent Swiss brand. So guys, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.